What it do everybody know it is the Dig Dug himself Dak908 and welcome again to another commentary but this time it's on the PS3 but I will be dropping you guys some Nintendo news. It's oxymoronic. I understand these things. These are things that I took into account before I even put lips on this commentary but it's what we're going to do anyway. We're going to do it because that's how we do it anyway. Anyway moving to the next one. Alright. Recently as of last night well for me anyway at 11.30pm last night um. There was another Nintendo Direct video that went up. It was hosted by uh, Reggie fils where they outlined what they were going to be doing for the Wii U and the 3DS. But in this time, well, this time around, it was more more focused on the 3DS side of things, which w w was pretty good because we all know during E3, we didn't get a lot of, um, you know, 3DS love, so to speak. But um, first thing I'm about to knock you guys off with is the big ass clap of the whole extravagant event is the fact that they re uh, they didn't release they announced the Nintendo 3DS XL in Japan known as LL I forgot the reason why it was LL and for us it was XL XL extra large obviously LL I don't know living larger I don't know but anyway they released it well they didn't Jesus they didn't release it. they announced the fact that there would be a 3DS XL with 90% larger screens. And it'll become available in Europe on the 29th of uh, January, not January, July, and on the 19th of August for us American users. Now that is stupendous. Also, what's going to drop? I think the day before, on the same day, is New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. So maybe you can play that game on your brand new lickety split big 3DS. Now, um, apart from releasing that, they released some colors. In Europe, uh, we all know the 3DS is a three-tiered color. You know, it has three colors. Like, I'm looking at mine right now. It is a uh, light gray, a little bit darker gray, and then, like, black on the top. Um, for the, uh, the ones they released, it will, it will be silver, black, and red, and also blue, black, and blue. Yeah. Uh, the new and it has like the, the the battery power that we all complain about is actually gonna be uh, longer, which is really good. This is good, you know. It makes sense. Bigger console, bigger battery life, so to speak. You know. Um, also comes bundled with the four gigabyte SD card as opposed to the two gigabyte SD card that came with the regular 3DS, which is also great. See all these cool things. It's phenomenal, right? Delicious. Now the pricing. Now the pricing. It is priced at two hundred dollars. Now take into account that the regular 3DS is only one seventy five. That's 20 bucks, okay? 25, excuse me, but still like 20 bucks more. Now, but you're wondering like, well, why is it so cheap? Well, apart from the fact that they don't want to go to the horrendous $250 uh, business model they had originally, they also took out the AC adapter out of the pack, so it will not be bundled with the AC adapter, ladies and gentlemen. I know it may sound really dumb, but hey, you gotta understand that, you know, Everybody has a 3DS for the most part, and for the most part, people can buy a 3DS or 3DS XL. People who probably already bought a 3DS, but you know, don't really trip too much because you know, you gonna get you a, a charger for like 20 bucks at GameStop or something like that. So it's not too too big of a deal. Also, another big piece of chicken I want to talk about is uh, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. The demo came out this morning, and I've recently played it. Uh, it's not a relatively long demo as opposed to the other demos that come onto the 3DS, but it's indeed just enough to show you what the game is about. Now, the frame rate is delicious. The gameplay is delicious. The graphics look amazing, okay? Mind you, it looks better than the uh, PlayStation 2 versions of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. You do get to play as Kingdom Hearts 2 type Sarah, so you have those threads, the red and the black and all that. Um, Neku makes his appearance in here. You get to see him. He talks to you and whatnot. Uh, you get to fight quite a bit, so it's definitely something to uh, look into. The 3D on it is impeccable, so if you own yourself a 3DS, please go pick it up, uh, the demo. And I played it, and I'm definitely going to go buy the game. As opposed to the fact that Donald and Goofy is not in there, I'm bothered by that, but I ain't tripping too much. Um, lastly, I want to talk about... Uh, Smash Brothers. We all know Smash Brothers is a huge phenomenal thing happening on, on Nintendo side of things, so I'm going to drop you off with this one. Um, may seem like a bombshell to most people, but just, just hear me out. Namco Bandai, the same people do the Tales of series, and, um, and in my case, they, they did Armor Core 5. They will be helping, for the most part, um, Nintendo make Smash Brothers for the Wii U and the 3DS. So take that into consideration, you know, j just note that Nintendo's still going to be head honcho, but they need help. You know, they needed some help, so they got these players. So, hey, you never know, maybe in the next one, they might have some Namco Bandai characters. Personally, I'm looking for Lord from Tales of Symphonia. 
and um hope you guys enjoyed the video and the bit of news i got for you guys i do kind of sneak and play with this guy and i get the game when i kill for it it's, it's repeated in my uh my final kill cam but anyway it's been the dig dug himself let me know how you like the news and everything let me know if you got your 3ds frame me on it and then we can play kingdom hearts and have fun with that i'll let your boy spin the real dig dug yeah yeah